Girl, it's about that time of the month again. Don't we all just dread it? But for the sake of just vibing out as girls, I thought I would do this video for you all. This is a typical day in my life, but on my cycle. <laughs> These days, I don't do anything at all. But you know what? I try to maintain some type of productivity while still taking care of my body during this time. One thing that I find that is very easy to do is I can get very frustrated with myself, especially around this time, because I just have so much to do. And my body is not in any state to be doing it. So this is a video that hopefully encourages you all to just take it slow. It's not special. It's not, oh, a self-care day on my period, self-care, self-care. Nah, this is just, this is just real. Throughout this video, I'll also be sharing my cycle favorites. So hopefully those are helpful for you. And let me know down in the comments if you've already tried them or will be trying them soon. Today is Wednesday. Welcome back to another edition of Wolo Wednesday. Wednesday. I am on my cycle and I am feeling womp womp womp. I don't know why I'm in a hoodie like 
the weather doesn't even permit for me to be in a hoodie. But yeah, I thought I would film this just to kind of show you guys the motions and tips and tricks that I use, just my favorite things to do um, during my cycle. Just cause, you know, could help somebody else and stuff like that. So as you saw earlier on, I took a poopoo for a walk, of which I really didn't want to do because I just didn't want to take it for a walk like I'm, I'm in pain. So I didn't want to do that, but I did anyway. It's always good to do like a light, low intensity exercise. When you're on your cycle, better have my coffee. And now I'm about to make some breakfast, of which on a weekday, I typically don't have breakfast. But because I am on my cycle, I think it's a very good idea to eat. I do get weak and like faint when I'm on my cycle. So I need to be charged up with some energy. So that's what I'm gonna make now. Then I'm gonna sit down and watch some YouTube while I eat. Then I'm gonna go um, take a shower and get to work. <laughs> One of my non-negotiables for a day like this, not only does it make me feel more productive, but it just keeps my space clean regardless, is making my bed. Y'all know I will make my bed, even if I'm about to get into it again. I literally can't go to bed without my bed being made. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. So I make sure that I make my bed and I tidy up and clean up just a tad bit. I'm already feeling a muck. I don't need my brain to be feeling even more of a mug because of the environment and the space that I'm in. You just, you just, you just gotta choose your battles. And this is not one of them battles that I want to have as well during this time. So I highly suggest that you clean up and tidy up just a little bit. Don't go too crazy. Don't do too much. Just to make you feel, number one, a lot more productive. And number two, a lot more better being in a clean space. <music> Next thing I will do is take a steaming, piping hot shower. I feel like mucky. I feel ugh. There's just a stench on me that I just don't understand when I'm on my cycle. So I will be scrubbing up doing in the shower. I also put on my sanitary pad before I step into the shower just because I don't want to be out here dripping everywhere. It happens to me. My flow is heavy. I already have a full and extensive shower routine on my channel. I will link it. So go ahead and watch that for you girl too. Now, because let me tell you how DP did their massive one with this product right here. Throw away your hot water bottle today, girl, because this is discreet. It doesn't have that deep heat scent or fragrancing that, um, that DP products have, and it lasts you all freaking day. I'll wear it to work, I'll wear it when I'm running errands, and I'll wear it when I go to bed as well. It is so, so good. I highly recommend this product. Let's get into this skin. I think this is definitely one of the most problematic parts of my cycle. My skin definitely has the typical symptoms of a lady going through her menstruation because I get the pimples, I get the breakouts and all the stuff. And one thing about my skin, I will get a pimple and immediately I know that there will be hyperpigmentation, there will be a dark mark, there will be a blemish on that space. Although I don't typically pop my pimples. Like I have to be consistent with my skincare because I'm generally not consistent with my skincare. I don't even lie to you. I'll go to bed and I'll have washed my face because I just don't want to be doing stuff, okay? It is now 
12 o'clock so it's exactly lunch time i'm just gonna make um some quick lunch we have a lot of leftovers so the only thing i'm really making is a chicken patty and then i'm gonna heat up some buns i don't know if i'm gonna make a sandwich i don't know but i probably will heat up a sandwich with some cheese or whatever put it inside this bun and have that for lunch i wish i had painkillers i don't normally take painkillers i normally have like a discipline on hand just because like that just works for me but i don't normally take painkillers because nothing is like i don't want to feel too drowsy i'm already drowsy as it is and then on top of that i only like to take painkillers at night when i'm asleep because my cramps for some reason get so bad when i'm asleep at night and they wake me up luckily last night i only like woke up like maybe once or twice last night but like it gets so irritating and i hate losing sleep over my cycle work is a bit slow today so i'm just in and out just kind of checking everything trying to help out where i can with my colleagues so it is a slow day luckily for me i don't have a lot to do which i'm so grateful for because i'm not feeling too great told my employer as well that i'm not feeling too great and yeah let's make some lunch takes so much effort to do anything when you're on your cycle so i take my time to just lay down and catch my breath <laughs> one thing that i would definitely recommend is for you guys with apple and iphones to definitely try out the app that is already installed on the health app for tracking your cycle it works really really well um it's pretty accurate in my opinion The time now is 10 to 10. I just caught a whiff of my own fart and wow, my gosh, stinky. I'm getting ready for bed. I'm getting ready to do some Bible study um, with Usparazi at the moment. Today was just, yeah, a typical day on my cycle because I could not stay awake to save my life. I ended up taking a very long nap very very long nap i took a very long nap and i woke up at about half past six and then um i tried to join class because class starts today at seven but there was no class so i was very confused about that i wanted to tell you guys about my favorite favorite sanitary pads ah! yo it has to be the cotex all-nighters or cotex ultra thins cotex is the truth tell you that for free right now cotex is the truth like i normally like a thinner pad but even the thick pads from cotex are oh. <laughs> even cotex free pr right now but um, i really love cotex and i don't think people like use cotex enough shut it always shut it always i promise i will never lead you guys astray I'm just gonna oil up my scalp i'm using the castor oil from native child because my scalp is crying out for help so i thought i would just use the native child castor oil i have used native child products before i was a big fan of them when they started out but i haven't been using them as much anymore it's got some castor oil peppermint lavender tea tree burdock rosemary and it's got some horsetail extract as well so i'm just gonna apply that to my scalp and i'm so glad 
that castor oil and peppermint are the top two ingredients on the list. The higher the ingredients are on an ingredient list, it means that typically that there's more of that ingredient in the product. Yeah, my hair, my hair need, need this. Let me shake it up. I don't know if it needs any shaking, but I'm gonna make sure. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Come get some in my mouth. Oh, mm. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I am worried about using an oil on my scalp because I do have relaxed hair now. But I'm in braids. Let's see what it does. By the end of the day i just want a nice hot cup of tea so i will drink a chamomile tea the lavender tea from willie's is also really really good and i don't do much I just go right to bed and that is the end of this spend the day with me i am sipping on my chamomile tea girl chamomile tea during this time, don't try to push yourself. <laughs> Give you some rest, girl. Give you some rest. Your body does amazing, amazing things. And this is necessary for your body to continue doing things that are amazing. Okay? Okay. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video in the next edition of Below Wednesday. Bye.